Oh my love Are you unmotivated and lazy when it comes to cleaning? Does the thought of picking up a sponge fill you with the biggest meh feeling? Well this video could help you. I'm going to share some cleaning tips that are easy and perfect for even the most laziest of homemakers. So I really hope you enjoy this video. I hope you get lots of cleaning tips that are easy, simple and straightforward to incorporate into your everyday life so that you can get your cleaning done without even having to get the motivation in the first place. So if you are interested in that, then please keep watching. everyone welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So today's video is going to be a really exciting one. I'm going to be giving some easy cleaning tips for lazy and unmotivated people. So a couple of weeks back or maybe a couple of months back now I did do a video on how to enjoy cleaning for lazy people. So how to get into that zone where you just actually enjoy it, look forward to it and you turn it in your mind into something that has to be done to something that you actually enjoy doing. Please excuse Murphy in the background while he gets himself comfortable. So this video is going to be similar to my how to enjoy cleaning video but this video is going to be more tailored to people that are just like do you know what Hattie I'm never going to enjoy cleaning it's not me so just please give me all the easy tips on how I can do it as fast and efficient as possible so that I don't have to spend too much time of my life doing something that I genuinely don't enjoy doing and that's absolutely fine so I'm going to be sharing those tips today. I'll of how sometimes I do them as well, just really easy cleaning tips that you can do when you just want to get it done. So without talking too much, let's just get straight on into the tips. So a huge thing that's helped me in my cleaning journey is understanding that every room does not have to be perfect and up to scratch in order for your house to be clean. So it's okay to just do one chore per room. So for example, in a lot of my cleaning videos, you will see me go into each room, I'll do all the dusting, the hoovering, clean the surfaces, do absolutely everything in that room. And then at the end, it's really satisfying and the whole house is done. That is not sustainable for people long term who are maybe working stressful careers, are out the house nine till five, it's just not doable to come in and do an hour's worth of cleaning every day to get your whole house feeling tip top. So what I like to do instead is doing one chore per room and by the chore I mean making it the same chore. So rather than going into one room doing the dusting and the hoovering and all that, just hoover every single room one evening or maybe dust every single room one evening then you're not wasting time with swapping cleaning appliances swapping cleaning tools you can just quickly get your head around one five or ten minute task that's so much more easy to do and also it's only one thing in your mind it doesn't add up to all those things that just make it seem harder and although dusting and hoovering one room may only add a little bit of extra time I think it's just mentally the extra step of having to swap over that if you are eliminate that at least you're doing something and then if you do want to have days where you do your whole house top to bottom then again just do the same chore in each room so go into every room and dust then go into every room and hoover and it just makes it so much quicker and more simple to get done. The next thing I have found that really, really does work and has hugely impacted me and how I feel about cleaning and homemaking and that is incorporating a, just a tiny bit of cleaning into my morning routine. So that is doing something productive towards your cleaning routine in the morning straight away and I feel this helps because almost in the same way as doing your morning exercise does, you're doing it before your brain has time to catch up. So if you're anything like me, I am slow to wake up. I'm a little bit disgruntled in the morning. I'm a little bit sleepy, brain foggy. I'm just not all there yet until I've been up for at least an hour and had at least three cups of tea. <laughs> so by doing a little bit of cleaning before I'm all alert, it's like I don't have to get myself into that motivated space, that space of motivation where you just want 
want to get everything done and you're feeling really productive that's not something that happens to everyone every single day and motivation is something that isn't sustainable what's something that is sustainable is habits so by making it a habit that you do a little bit of cleaning every single morning it will help you out a lot especially if you do work out at the home because then you're coming into something that is a lot more manageable and you know you've taken steps in the morning to take care of your home so I'm not saying it has to be a big long routine have a think about your lifestyle and how much time you have to incorporate morning cleaning into it might be five minutes or it might be half an hour something I love doing and I personally am a huge fan of cleaning these days I like doing half an hour in the morning and half an hour before bed that just for me I keep on top of it I feel mentally better about it and it never gets to a stage where it's just a complete disaster and I have to start all over again saying that I definitely do get to that stage sometimes because you have evidence of videos of it but in an ideal world that is what I like to do. My next tip for an easy cleaning routine for lazy people is to not overcomplicate your cleaning products. So nowadays we live in a social media impacted world and social media can be seen literally in all aspects of life like the impacts of it is everywhere down to cleaning and I think cleaning has been something that is blown up on social media the past couple of years especially with Mrs Hinge and because of that people are more into their cleaning products there's a lot more on the market there's a lot more different scents and things and it's just overwhelming but back in the day and before all of social media we knew that most things could be cleaned with fairy liquid or bleach maybe a couple of other things but that's the basics of all you needed to know when it came to cleaning bleach for anything white fairy liquid a hoover and a mop that's really the extent of it so if you love cleaning then of course or if it motivates you get all the nice smelling cleaning products that make you feel like you want to do it personally for me that's something that really motivates me and that's something I did mention in my how to enjoy cleaning video which is getting different scents and things but for some people that is overwhelming especially for people who are very unmotivated when it comes to cleaning the idea of having to use a different product for everything it just adds time and it makes it more complicated so simplify it as much as you can to just the products you need to physically clean your home make a big bucket of bleach and water and just go mad obviously don't use bleach on anything that is not white because you'll ruin it <laughs> But just try and keep it simple and it will become so much easier and quicker for you and you will need a lot less activation energy to get started. So if you still do want to have a lot of cleaning products like me and you do enjoy it then something I recommend to cut the time in half and to enjoy it still and make it easier is to get yourself a cleaning caddy. So this is my cleaning caddy and it was from Home Bargains. I absolutely love it. So at the start of every cleaning session I will fill that up with all the products that I want to use that I know I'm going to use in that sort of cleaning session so personally for me that's so much easier because I can just carry that from room to room and I'm not going back and forth to my under the sink cupboard to get something new for each room or for everything I'm doing it's just so much easier to have it all there with me so if you don't want to get rid of your products then make it easier for you to carry your products around with you. My next tip for lazy people is find out your type of lazy. So we're not all lazy in the same way and different things motivate us. So for some lazy people, you may be the type of lazy person where you cannot fathom two hours of cleaning. So for you, it's about doing a little bit every day. For some people, their type of lazy is let things get really bad to then get the motivation to sort it out. That's sort of like me sometimes or how I used to be is I would like to see mess before I had the motivation to clean. So if that's you, then just understand that's absolutely fine. You can do that as well. So if you enjoy a big long cleaning session and then keep your other days free, that's fine to do that as well. And then just do like a big cleaning session at the weekend. The only thing with that is it does sometimes feel like you're wiping out a day at the weekend and if you work full-time five days a week 
ruining one of those days with a load of cleaning when you don't enjoy it is probably not the best to do so work out what's going to work out for you and work out your type of lazy it's different for everyone but just try and find something that works for you this can change as well week by week some weeks you might be motivated to do a little bit each day the next week you might do nothing all week and then catch up at the weekend so it's okay to change it up and I think sometimes we think we're lazy when we're not it's just we're holding ourselves to a way too high standard especially I brought up social media before especially when there is so many cleaning social media accounts and I'm probably bad for it as well if you watch my channel a lot you might feel bad about your level of productivity and cleaning because it's something I really enjoy and I find it easy to do so I film myself doing it and put it on the internet but for other people watching that that could feel really overwhelming and like you have to live up to my sort of standard the other thing is I don't have children as well right now so my cleaning standards and habits will change when they when I have children so it's all about adapting to your own lifestyle and not comparing to someone else there is the quote that comparison is the thief of joy and I absolutely love that the other thing you might want to consider is using a cleaning schedule so there is loads of different cleaning schedules out there there's a lot of different apps a really common one is fly lady I did do a review after I had been doing the fly lady for a week so I'll leave that linked below if you are interested but there's all sorts out there there's also one called I think it's clean mama um, there's all sorts out there so just have a little look at cleaning schedules or make your own as well if you would prefer to make your own so I have tried fly lady and then I have tried making my own cleaning schedule as well and I just find for me I like to do the see it method see what needs to be done and do it I don't like to overthink it the more I overthink the more activation energy I need to get going because I don't like being told what to do when it comes to cleaning sometimes I either have to see the mess or I buy a new product and I'm excited to use it or something like that so find out if a schedule is going to work for you maybe try a few out if it doesn't work then don't worry and just go back to doing the see it method like I do so my last tip for cleaning for lazy people is just a little bit of reassurance that it's okay to not have a clean home 24 7 I know that's a little bit taboo and people might think it's unhygienic but personally for me I'm a huge believer in homemaking and what homemaking means to me is that you're creating a space for yourself and for people that live under your roof under your home to come home to and relax to enjoy and to feel at peace if you're coming home and you're stressed about the cleaning then you're not helping yourself and I think like I mentioned before the standards are are so high nowadays that if you feel like you're not constantly homemaking or constantly cleaning you might look to someone else and think that they're doing better than you but at the end of the day the reason we clean and the reason we homemake is so that we can enjoy our home so if you have a busy lifestyle if you are a parent if you've got loads going on then don't hold yourself up so high to these standards try to create little routines here and there that are going to keep you on top of things and keep things hygienic and a nice place to come home to but don't be worrying constantly that everything has to be perfect because that's where I think we get ourselves into a bit of a mess with thinking everything has to be clean and I don't enjoy it and it's taking over my life in a way that it isn't a self-care nice thing to do anymore it's just something that takes me out of the things I want to do so I hope that makes sense and I hope it's given you a little bit of reassurance as well so hopefully these tips have helped I hope they do help with your motivation I hope they do help you create a little bit more of an easier routine that's easy to stick to and you don't need as much motivation to do and although I have called this video cleaning tips for lazy people I do do believe that no one is truly lazy we all just have different priorities and if cleaning isn't a priority for you that's absolutely fine just get into a routine of doing the basics that's all you have to do and don't worry about anything else so I hope you have enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed my tips if you have then please give it a thumbs up and if you enjoy cleaning videos then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time